In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify that your SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records are added correctly to your domain. This is really important. Please make sure that you do this, otherwise your emails might go to spam. I'm in the DNS section of my Squarespace account, which is where my domain is currently registered. And if I scroll down to the custom records section, you'll see that we have the SPF record here the DKIM record here, and then finally the DMARC record here. And what I'm gonna do is verify that they are authenticating correctly, because even though I see them here, maybe I made a mistake, maybe something went wrong. So the best way to know that they're actually set up properly is by doing the following. And what you wanna do is go into the email account that you just created. In this case, it's george at emailchasernow.com and what you want to do is send a real email to a different email account and then once you do that you can then click on the email that you sent and then verify that way that the records are added correctly it's really important that you send it to a different email account if you send the email to your own email account in terms of literally if i send an email from george at emailchasernow.com to george at emailchasernow.com this is not going to work so make sure you do it to a different email address i'm going to click compose and then i'm going to type in the following george at emailchaserhq.com because it's a different email account that I also own. So I'm just going to type in george at emailchaserhq.com and then for the subject and body, it's important that you write an email that looks real. If you just write something strange, it might go to spam because your email copy does affect whether your email goes to spam or not. So try to make your email look real so that you can really test your deliverability too at the same time. I've added this email, I've added the subject, and then I've also added some body text and I'm gonna then click send. And now that it has sent, I'm gonna go into the other email account and I'm going to make sure that I've received the email. So if I refresh this, it should come through any second. I've received it in my primary inbox and then I'm going to click the email and I'm going to click look safe. That's normal by the way, Google or Gmail displays that automatically um, just because I'm sending from an email account that has the same name associated with it. So that's why it's showing that. But obviously when you send cold emails to real leads that don't have the same name as you and this message won't appear. So I'm going to click look safe. and. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click these three dots and then I'm going to click show original. And once you open this up, you're going to see that it says SBF and DKIM and you'll see that both are saying pass. And you'll notice that right now it doesn't say DMARC and it doesn't say pass next to DMARC. And the reason why is because we still need to wait probably 48 hours because you'll recall my previous videos that once you purchase a new domain through Google Workspace, you have to wait 48 hours for SPF and DKIM to authenticate before you then set up your DMARC. In this example video, I didn't wait 48 hours because I'm trying to make a video tutorial series. I don't have 48 hours to wait. But the point is, is if you did wait it will be saying DMARC here, and it will say pass next to DMARC. And if it doesn't say pass next to DMARC, that means there's a problem. So you wanna make sure that you see SPF, DKIM, and DMARC all here, saying pass next to each, and that's really important. This is an old video that I made on the same topic, and as you can see in this old video, it says SPF, DKIM, and DMARC, it says pass next to each of them, so you wanna make sure that it's showing that if it doesn't show that you probably made a mistake somewhere or you still need to wait 24 to 48 hours for it to authenticate and then try again.